Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm joined by Jay Bartlett and his kids, Alex and Zach. Hi guys. Hiya. They're regulars at the Game Fishing Centre, but today we've come down to the beautiful Manningford Fishery and we're going to show you guys this time of year, coming up to the school holidays, why you should be getting out there with your kids or your neighbours kids, your nieces, your nephews, and try to get the youngsters out on the fishing bank just to show them why we love nature, why we go fishing, and introduce them to the great outdoors. We're going to go and try and catch some fish and get a little bit more of an insight into why these guys love being out with Dad and trying to catch a few trout. So stay tuned. But Alex, if he does come back, we can, can try Can you and catch tell me him. what you love about fishing? Brown, catching brownies. Catching brownies? Yes, catching brownies. Uh -huh. And uh, PBs. 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 Catching PBs. Where was your PB from? The Deveron. The Deveron. What did you catch? Salmon. A salmon. How big was it? 12 pounds. 12 pounds. And where, where is the Deveron? What country is it in? Scotland. Scotland, yeah. I really love taking my kids fishing because it reminds me a lot of when I used to fish with my dad when I was a kid as well. I started on small trout lakes like this one and um, it's one of those things that sticks with you. It's one of my earliest memories uh, and lots of memories is spending time on the water with my dad that's later progressed to things like salmon fishing in Scotland and uh, that developed like a big love for fly fishing that's as anybody knows that does the sport is really infectious and it seems to be the same way for my kids. What sort of awesome creatures have we seen when we've been fishing? Mm -hmm. Daddy long legs. Daddy long legs. What about those things that creep and crawl along the bottom of the lake? Crayfish. Crayfish. You like spotting crayfish, don't you? Usually if we're finishing school and they're feeling good and bright, then they will ask me if we can go. I will pop over to Sportfish with them or Barn Elm, another local. Um, we just love getting out outside. And it's, it, it means a lot to me because um, just going fishing on your own, it can be really nice and I need that break sometimes, but uh, we're, taking the kids is just something extra special. It's things that you can share. So there's a lot of opportunities to learn if it's something to do with the wildlife, with the fish, or even just tactile things. So it's, there's certain things in fly fishing that um, you don't really consider until you're much older, but um, the kids, they, they've learned things like how to get the correct tension on a fish when you're playing a fish, what kind of speed you should be doing a retrieve. Um, even playing a fish along with the tension is just noticing when fish are actually going to run or jump or things like that. So it's quite authentic fishing experience where everything else is interesting until you hook a fish. This one. You like that red one? Why we, do we, we might need, go we might need something with a little bit of weight just to get below the surface. This one? Uh, what about the pin fry one? It's probably some perch fry in there at the moment. And then after... Or there is thing. a small shady baby. What I'm closing it now. I'm closing it now. This one? Yeah, that one. That one, okay. Good job. Got there you it. go. First fish. First one. Here you are. And what's that one? Rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. How big do you think it is? Mm -hmm. Two pounds. About one and a half. One and something like that. Lovely fish, isn't it? We were struggling to get one of the fish to take. So we tried a few different flies and we thought maybe some perch fry in the water. We could try something that looks small like a little fry, which Alex found. And there you go, third or fourth cast, we got one. What do you think about that? Good. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a really lovely thing to do. And um, I kind of made it a rule that if kids ask me if they can go fishing within reason, I will never say no. 
Or more specifically, if I say I'm going to go fishing and they ask if they can come, I will never say no to them. Um, we've had a lot of great experiences in the last year that they've been fishing, lots and lots of fish. And uh, it all led up to one big moment where they got their first salmon a couple of months ago that was just amazing. We still talk about it. We still look at the pictures, look at the videos. It's just brilliant. Well, we've had a thoroughly enjoyable day. Um, both Zach and Alex, have, between them, have had five fish. Um, you've had a thoroughly enjoyable day, haven't you guys? Yeah. Yeah, spending time with Dad. And what better thing to be doing during the summer holidays than taking your kids out, or your nieces, your nephews, or just anyone that's got uh, a child that might be interested in getting out and fishing, regardless of whether it's fly fishing like it is here at Manningford, um, which has been a fantastic venue for us today. We've really enjoyed their hospitality. Or whether you're out doing a bit of course fishing, chasing some carp, or even down just chucking some lures and things off the coast for, for mackerel and bass in the sea. Whatever type of fishing it is, the summer holidays is a perfect time to go out and get kids out into the environment, out into nature, and show them a few things, um, picking up information about you know wildlife, um, and just having a, a, an appreciation for getting outdoors and spending some time with their, their family. Certainly, I know Jay and I, we were in the same situation. When we were growing up, we had any excuse to go out and spend some time with our fathers and do a bit of fishing. So um, thanks again, Jay. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, the kids have been great, even though uh, not necessarily been feeling at their best, but they've done yeah. a sterling effort today. Um, five fishery camera is uh, by no mean feat uh, mm. impressive. Um, so we hope you, this gives you an excuse to take somebody out that's not been fishing before during the summer holidays and get them quite literally hooked on fishing. So we hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe this video and hit the uh, bell notification so that next time we release another video, you'll get told straight away. So until next time, tight lines and we'll see you soon.